So what are the principles and approaches that we are leveraging at Purple Patch to ensure that every single one of our athletes have a wonderful off season where they can get their break, they can be rejuvenated, they can have a whole bunch of flexibility and fun, they can spend more time with their family and friends as well as investing in other components in life such as work, but also show up next year ready to absolutely thrive. These provide the cornerstone of our programming, everything we're gonna go through. This is purple patch coaching, community, education, that is gonna drive our athletes to their very best year of racing. And of course, most importantly, the successful integration of this sport into their time-starved lives so that they can thrive and show up across all other aspects. We are not just chasing finish lines, we're chasing performance in life. And for me today, is it's an important one because so many people come to us and ask how we manage to get such exponential performance shifts from our athletes, despite, despite the outside perception of having reduced training hours. And so many of our athletes being particularly time starved in demands of their work as well as their family. And the truth is that what I'm gonna unpack today in today's show, I think is a big part of that reason. This is how, at the crux of it, we manage to help athletes continue on their lives, show up in everything that is important to them, improve how they show up in, in how they show up in everything that's important to them, but also have great personal achievements in sport. Today's show, I think this is the benchmark of it. And you've heard me say many times before, off season is the number one predictor for me for athletes showing up over the course of the season, reducing their risk of injury, and most importantly, taking their level, whatever their level is, and going up a level. And so when someone joins Purple Patch and says, I want to take it to the next level, the first thing that I say is off-season. This is where it all starts, a successful off-season. All righty? This year, we're stepping it up again. If you remember last year, we went back and we completely reimagined our off season. And we hoped that it would have a big catalyst of improvement across all of those areas. And guess what? It did. We were incredibly happy with it. We reimagined the approach and it was great. But this year we're gonna go again. Because whenever you go through a shift and a change, there is learning that is gonna emerge with it. And there's some continuing growth that are going to occur. The building blocks are the same as last year. There's a few other refinements. And as I mentioned in the introduction, we are going to unpack what we're going to do in the 2024-2025 season this year relative to our athletes. We're going to go through and we're going to talk about that, but we're going to do it through the lens of the triathletes. We talk, we cater to a vast group of types of people, runners, uh, bike riders, gravel riders, ultra marathon, and of course, performance enthusiasts that are just looking for performance in, in life. But we're going to use our case study with where the majority of our clients and athletes are, which of course, identifying as a multi-sport athlete. But bear in mind, as I said before, the same principles apply to all endurance and life performance minded folks. So there's something for everyone in here. Last week, I framed our three words of off-season, if you remember. Number one, foundation. And that's a smart platform of training that provides a runway for the next nine months or so of effectiveness. And we talked about strength in there. We talked about tissue resilience. We talked about rejuvenation so that you have actual capacity to absorb hard work that's coming up. So foundation is important. We also talked about the ability and importance of focusing on technical development. So technique is our second word. Off season is the time to improve technically. And then finally, mastering the craft of your sport. The third name or, or word, which is skills. And that's the mission to get the best speed return possible from any fitness that you manage to develop over the course of the next season. So we're gonna break this down into how we're taking those three elements and blending them into a program, a purple patch program for our individually coached athletes, which of course is refined and tailored to them from their individual coach. And of course, our squad athletes, which are part of 
more of a moving train. There's customization and personalization in it, but it's a little more akin to being a member of like a master swim program, for example. Everybody improves, but you're going on a journey pretty much together. So let's dive in. We're going to go one at a time. And the first one that I'm going to lead off that I rub my hands with great glee and excitement because we're going to label this swim school. Now, remember, we're talking about triathletes. What are we doing with swimming this off season? Well, swimming is a critical part of triathlon. Most people relegate it to an afterthought quite often because it's logistically the most difficult. It's also often the most frustrating. In fact, one discipline of the triathletes program that is the most common weakness is the swim. Goodness me. And in the swimming, in order for you to improve, particularly if you need to improve in open water, which is what triathlon is typically, you need three things. And this is universal across all levels. Number one, you need the very best technique that you can develop. So there is a reduction of drag and technical elements that are important. So you need the best technique. You need a large amount of muscular endurance and cardiovascular fitness, and you achieve that through training and specific sessions, of course. And then thirdly, you need specific skills to help you navigate the dynamic conditions of open water, things like lifting your head to sight without it interrupting the flow of your stroke. So technique, skills, and that middle one, training, fitness. Pretty simple, yeah? When the heat is on and you're racing and you're working from the ground up to try and improve your technique and skills, it's almost impossible. If you've got a race deadline in four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, you're not going to really think about skill development and technique. You're going to primarily be concerned around fitness and muscular endurance. It becomes the dominant focus of the program, and it should in many ways. And the reason for this is normal, because I even eat myself as a coach, if I'm asking you to improve your technique, and if I had you in the middle of your race season say, technique is everything, go and drill up and down the pool and really focus on technique, that technical improvement will fall to pieces if you don't have the required muscular endurance and cardiovascular conditioning. So fitness is the driver. But season is over. We don't need to be chasing massive fitness right now in swimming. We're not under demands of racing. And so now in off season under purple patch, it's time for swim school. We remove the deadlines of races. We actually have the opportunity to improve your swimming technique from the ground up. And that's good news because swimming is the most technical sport that you can possibly imagine. It is by far the most technically demanding, particularly if you're an adult onset swimmer. And so as we go through the coming months, starting in October for people that have finished their racing all the way through until the middle of February, we've got a heavy emphasis on improving swimming technique. But that doesn't mean that we're just throwing a few drills into the swim sessions. There you go, folks, go and do these drills. I'm sure it will magically correlate to better swimming. That's not the case. We see this all the time, to athletes just swimming up and down, doing single arm drill or proverbial catch up drill or all these other components, but it doesn't have any correlation or tie in to actually you swimming faster. Any single athlete benefits from a complete understanding of what the focus and targets are. That's the only route for them to upskill in technique. And then finally, even with any technical elements, the athlete then needs to apply that technique into real swimming. And so if you've got technical development, you need real swimming sessions. And then one other component is to be successful in joining ongoing feedback and support along the journey. And that informs our approach. And so once again, our off-season swim school is going to be led by a swim specialist, John Stevens. John's fantastic. He and I have gone through our sessions that we did last year and we've refined them. And we've developed a series of technique-specific swim sessions that are completely refreshed for the 2024-25 season, including brand new drills and sessions from the learnings of last year. 
And each one of the sim sessions, rather than throwing a whole bunch of drill on you, drills at you, has a single element of technique. And the swim session comes with a video instruction of how to do the drill, a tutorial on the purpose of the focus and how to actually execute that session. What should it actually feel like? Swim it, following the technical element then, John encourages you to apply that technical element into the focus of the workout so that you can further practice and apply it in real swimming. In other words, it's educate, execute and apply in every single workout. And as you go through the cycle of our three week format, each swim session has a different technical element. And as you go through those three week cycles and you repeat and you repeat and you evolve and you evolve, you start to cement these as habits and they become a part of how you can swim. And when you repeat and evolve them over the course of time, this enables you to focus get feedback and develop little building blocks that are ultimately, hopefully by the middle of February, you have technically advanced your swimming. Now, of course, while you're doing those technical elements, we need to do a certain amount of swimming to build the muscular endurance so that you can hold it through a swim workout. But it is only really in the middle of February that then we open up the throttle and say, great, you've evolved technically, now it's time to ramp up the load. And I want you to cement that technique, new and improved, into your swimming and incrementally build up the training intensity and volume to get you primed for early season races. So that's fantastic. That's absolutely great. We then are supporting those swim workouts with education and feedback. A big part of swim school is the education around the fundamental technique. As I mentioned, that video-based education is very, very important. And then, of course, there are folks that are the slight outliers, either really challenged with swimming or maybe a little bit more advanced with swimming to say, great, but I want to have some really personal feedback. I want to get John talking to me, looking at my video, drawing on my video and giving me specific individual swim workouts. And that's a big part of the program now. A lot of purple patch athletes decide to upgrade and take on the swim program that we have, which is supplementary, where a lot of athletes go through with John and they do video analysis but more than video analysis and then goodbye, see you later. Video analysis with the same educate, execute and apply concept. So from that swim analysis, John will then have a great consultation with you, build custom workouts, have you go and execute, redo the swim analysis, redo the education to say, did it stick? So our swim program from the individual customized component is multiple weeks in duration, for the value of the standalone product. So that's how we're approaching swim school. Very important, a structured and progressive pathway to improve your technique, under, ensure you understand it, and ensure that that technique sticks. And that's the really important point. So in your weakness, at the time when training com um, commitment is a little bit lower, you have the opportunity to actually improve as a swimmer. That's my favorite, I've got to say, and one of the principles that we're doing with our off-season this year.